Before I, pre I present the story that I'm going to tell you today, I have to say that it's amazing the things that you are doing, the things that you're showing me, that you, you're sharing with me. Uh, if I'm not your teacher because I'm sharing this with other teachers, I'm sure that you're sending fantastic things to your teachers. Because I've been saying, well, my students are sending me and they are incredible. From spiders to uh, posters, fantastic posters, presentations, I'm super, super happy. And, uh, well, let me introduce you the story of today. The story of today, it's about pirates. And I'm sure that you're going to enjoy it a lot. You let me know later. Down, 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 the dark, dark street they came. Quiet as mice, stealthy as shadows. Up, 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 the dark, dark house they climbed. Stealthy as shadows. Quiet as mice. Only the moon was watching them when they arrived. Only the moon was watching them when they left. Only the moon and one little boy. Tom was a nice little boy. Tom was a brave little boy. Tom was a little boy about to have an adventure. Who were these shadows as quiet as mice? Stealing away the front of Tom's house. Maybe monsters? Or trolls? Maybe ogres or gremlins? Maybe bandits? Or pirates? Pirates? Pirates! Rough, tough little girl pirates with their own pirate ship. A ship set for sailing. A ship off on adventures. A ship still in the front of Tom's house for disguise. But what about Tom? Could he join the crew? Please, let me aboard. Can I come too? And did the girl captain say, Certainly not, you're only a boy. Oh no, not at all. Instead, she roared, Welcome aboard! Then up went the sails, and up went the flag. Then off sailed the rough, tough little girl pirates. The little girl pirates and their shipmate Tom. But where were they going? To an island where Captain Patch and his really rough, tough, grown-up pirates were snoozing around their full treasure chest. Then Captain Patch saw something. Something very strange. Something very strange indeed. What could he see? A house sailing towards them, getting closer and closer. A house sailing towards them, with a little boy waving hello. I've seen a house, Captain Patch declared. We've all seen houses, said the pirate. Who cares? Don't just lie there, do something, Captain Patch roared. But the pirates went back to sleep and just... Snored. Well, the house sailed nearer and nearer until out leapt the girl pirates, and out leapt Tom, and out leapt a fearsome roar. The pirates gaped, the pirates goggled, the pirates all run away. So Tom and the girl pirates sailed away with the treasure, while the rough, tough, grown up pirates. Hid in the trees. Captain Patch stamped his feet and shouted his worst pirate curse. If you don't give me my treasure back, I'll tell my mom. But off they had sailed all the way home. Down, down, down. The dark, dark street they came. Quiet as mice. Stealthy. Shadows. Up, up, up the dark, dark house they climbed. Stealthy as shadows, quiet as mice. Only the moon was watching them when they arrived. 
Only the moon was watching them when they left. Only the moon and one little boy. Tom was a brave little boy. Tom was a sleepy little boy. Tom was a boy who had had an adventure and no one would ever find out. Would they? Now, wasn't it a fantastic story? I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite stories. The way uh, the, the, the author plays with the sounds, the way uh, uh, that, that, that the images move us around the story, I think it's fantastic. But one of the things that I like the most is that finally we have an author uh, that breaks stereotypes, that breaks this idea that pirates have to be boys. No, why? Why? We could see, we had a bunch of pirates that were girls, and, and that's okay, that's fantastic, yes? Because it doesn't matter. If I'm a boy, I can be whatever I want. And if I'm a girl, I can be whatever I want. Uh, if I'm a girl, and I want to be a football player, I can be a football player. If I'm a boy, and I want to be a teacher, a nurse, a, I don't know, a football player, a, a basketball player, a volleyball player, or, or a, a hairdresser, I can be. Yeah, and the same with you guys. You can be whatever you want, and you can grow to be whatever you want. No matter if you are a boy or a girl, we are all the same. We are all human beings, yeah? And we have always to remember that, yes? Now, what do you want to be when you grow up? Why, why don't you tell me um, in, a, in an email or in a video? Yeah? Why don't you explain what you want to be when you grow up and why? Why do you want to be that? Yes? Can you do that for me? Can you record a short video or write, uh, tell me what you want to be when you grow up? Yeah? I will, I will love to hear about it. Yeah? That's the little task for today. Okay? Be safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.